Hey y'all, welcome on back into this booze and food kitchen where you know you're always welcome. Have you found your peak today? I hope you're well on your way to finding it. Well, let's talk about what we gonna be cooking in this kitchen today. Y'all, that was a time when I thought that I could not even eat a rib unless it had come out the grill. But in the last few years or so, you know, people are doing all kind of things with food. Well, we're going to do a little thing with these ribs today. We're going to get them tenderized up a little bit and get them seasoned just right. And then we're going to fry us up some ribs and roll them in a little bit of uh, whiskey barbecue sauce there. Okay? So I tell you all what. Meet me over on the counter as we get these ribs prepped up for the oven. And guess what? <laughs> you know we're going to be eating in no time. I'll meet you over on the counter. We're going to get started with this little pack of baby back ribs that I have here. Now I have a, a few little seasonings that I've mixed together in this uh, bowl that I'm just going to use just to just season up my meat a little bit. And I started with a, a few, uh, uh, some kind of a, a, the grill mates, you know, the grill mate seasonings that you get that's already mixed. And I put a few other things in there that I have had in my uh, pantry. Uh, I'm sure I put some pap paprika in there, a little bit of Cajun seasoning, a little bit of curry, and a little bit more uh, salt and pepper uh, in there to help it out. So I'm just gonna get this all over this meat and then we're gonna uh, get this, and it's just a little piece that fell off here. Put a little seasoning on that, and I season mine on both sides. I do not uh, remove this little thin sheet right here. Some people do, I just, you know, just don't do it. I'm gonna rub that all down real well, get it all up the meat, and then we're gonna put it on the pan. We got it all seasoned up there, and now what I want to do is just cut it in half because I need it to fit on the little pan uh, that I have. So I'm going to cut it right across there. Because this meat needs to go, this uh, rib needs to go in the oven and tenderize a little bit uh, before we fry it up. So here I'm just putting it on my little pan here. And I already have my oven uh, warming at um, uh, 325 degrees, 325 degrees. Uh, well, this, meat, this meat needs to tenderize a little bit before you put it uh, up to fry. So we got it all wrapped up here and it's going into the oven now for about 30 minutes. So here our reels are, fresh out of the oven. Good steam, yeah. And they are right where, they're hot, <laughs> where I need them to be. They're not totally tender, but they, they're a little bit more tender than they would have been had I just decided to fry them just raw out of the pack. Uh, some people fry them like that, but they're not as tender as they should be, you know, when you bite them off the bone. So we're gonna let them cool right here so we can start to slice these ribs and get them ready for uh, fry. As my ribs cool, I'm making a little tossing sauce uh, for them when they finish uh, frying. So here I have, this is, is, is a little more than a half cup of barbecue sauce that I start with at, at my base. And those are store-bought store uh, barbecue sauces. I'm using uh, a fourth of each. Okay, to that I am adding this uh, red pepper here. Get it open. So this right here is just red pepper that I'm using. Red pepper. And the sweet red peppers. So I'm giving that a good, uh, a good, tablespoon there, which is pretty much what's left in the bottle, the tablespoon, okay? To that, I am adding about, this is gonna be about a teaspoon here of uh, liquid smoke. I'm now adding a little bit of molasses. I don't do much molasses, 
because I find a lot of people just, I don't know, they don't like the, the taste of molasses, but I like it uh, in my barbecue, especially. Okay, then I'm gonna come back with just a little bit of honey, and that's about, uh, about a teaspoon of honey. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce for right here. And this right here is a teaspoon of whiskey. Using a little bit of this right here. There you can see it, there, okay? And finally, what I'm gonna put in this um, tossing sauce, and you don't need a lot of tossing sauce, you know, like when you're tossing um, wings, uh, those fried chicken wings, or uh, these ribs just a little bit because you're going to coat them just a little bit and this what I'm using here is a little bit of garlic pepper and that's not even a fourth teaspoon because I don't want uh, any seasoning that's too strong in here and I'm just going to taste this real quick and it's perfect for me so this is going to be sitting here ready for the ribs once they finish frying and put them directly into this sauce and toss them now we got our ribs ready here, and I'm just gonna cut them right down uh, the bone. And we'll get them all finished, cut up here, and then we'll be ready to uh, get them fried up. We're getting everything together here to go ahead and get the ribs fried up. In this bowl, I have a half cup uh, flour and I have a half cup of cornstarch that I've just kind of mixed those together because that's what we're going to use to dust these ribs in before we put them in the oil. So that's just all purpose flour here and cornstarch. Okay, now we need a little uh, pre wash for our um, ribs. So in this pre wash, I have one egg here. I'm going to go ahead and beat this egg up just a little bit. Okay, into that, I'm gonna add a little bit of milk, and I use this little um, almond milk here, and that's gonna come to, I guess, about hmm, maybe about a little, maybe a half cup of um, milk there, and then you know we're gonna keep it booze in here. We already have a little bit of that whiskey in our. Uh, uh, tossing sauce when the ribs come out of that oil, but into this pre-wash, this right here is a little bit of this beer. That's a good smooth beer right there, y'all. A little bit of that Mickey's. So this is a half, uh, that's a half cup. No, no, I'm sorry, that's a fourth cup of uh, beer that we have in that pre-wash. So now, this pre-wash is ready for me to put the ribs in and then get them uh, a little dusted in that flour and then we'll be putting them into the oil to fry. Okay, I want you to see the little workstation that I've created here to get my ribs fried up. So there they are all cut up on the cutting board and they'll go from there to the beer egg wash into the flour mixture where they'll be dusted there and they'll go directly into the oil and from the oil they'll switch right back over here and be um, tossed around into this whiskey barbecue sauce, okay? We'll go from egg mixture. Into flour mixture. And from flour mixture, into oil. There you go. And we'll continue adding them to the oil till we get them all fried up. Okay, so these ribs have been in this oil uh, about um, two minutes on each side. And uh, I'm just gonna, they're about ready to come out. Look at that beautiful rib, can you see that? That is ready to come out. And it's coming out, and remember, it's going directly into this uh, sauce that we created right here. So go right into the sauce. I'm just gonna leave them in there to uh, toss them around, and then I'm gonna drain them, okay? 
So we have them all over here in this uh, whiskey sauce. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm just gonna kinda toss them like, like this with the fork, flip them over and get them on to you know, both sides into that sauce. I don't want them in there very long because right now they are they're hot, but they're very uh, like crunchy right now. So I'm just gonna toss them around with my hands just a little bit, okay? And then I'm putting the top on and I'm gonna shake them like so to make sure that I've coated every crevice of um, these uh, ribs and then we're gonna drain them. Now when I say drain, I want you to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here they are, all coated and then I'm taking them out. Shake a little bit, shake, 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 and get a good grip on that. Shake it a little bit, okay? Then I have my pan over here with the little wire, the rock, the wire rack on it, and I'm just gonna put it right on there, okay? And I'm just gonna, oops, I'm gonna keep doing the same thing until I get them all out of this sauce. And it's here that they're gonna be left uh, to drain for just a few minutes before we plate them. Well y'all, we back here and we got it done. And I'm just so glad that we are able to see uh, the versatility of that, uh, that rib, that you can do some things with that rib other than just put it on the grill. Because I tell you right here, this rib is crunchy, it's so seasoned, it has that uh, the zestiness of that uh, good barbecue sauce, that whiskey in it, because you know it's going to be some booze in there now. So all I can say is just give it a try, y'all. If you haven't already, you're going to be open up to this here, right here, and I can almost guarantee you, you're going to love it. You are going to love it. And right now, I'm going to love you showing me some love by hitting that subscribe button over there, giving me some likes, shares, all of that social media stuff that you know we like to do. And you know, I love you coming on in and joining me on Wednesdays and Saturdays where you know I love to keep it boozy. Okay? So you all, I'm going to go on and get out of your hair and get on up in this rib. And y'all, have a great day, y'all. And I'll see you all next time. Okay? Mm-hmm.